It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you so much for being a part of this Last Days Church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. We give thanks to all of you who are supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is truly you praying and you giving that supports this ministry to be here and to continue as we are here watching with you and praying with you. As the signs of the last day's prophecies are revealing, we're nearing the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church and it's time to prepare now. There's a new movie called Civil War that's just come out which is about our modern day America becoming engulfed in a new civil war and the movie is shocking and creating a lot of buzz as people are seeing how just realistic this can be to where people are believing this can now really happen again in America as even experts are sounding the alarm saying the conditions now exist in America for a civil war. Is this new movie Civil War showing the future of America and has prophecy been forewarning this is coming? Movies have had an uncanny way of being prophetic about the future. With movies describing what the future will be like before it happens, there are many examples like the film Network, which was one of the most iconic movies of the 1970s starring William Holden concerning TV networks and broadcasters doing whatever it takes to get ratings as the provocative movie ingeniously reveals a lot that is even more relevant today, predicting things such as corporate mass media, fake news, and trash TV. And with the advent of social media, the themes of the film network is still relevant for now and the foreseeable future. Cable guy! Jim Carrey's character, Chip Douglas, back in the 1990s, was eccentric in many ways in the movie The Cable Guy. But he was also prophetic when his character from the film said soon every American home will integrate their television, phone, and computer. And this implementation and convergence of technology certainly has come to pass. And likewise, there are so many other movies whose technology and forecasts also came to pass, like how the film Minority Report and 2001A Space Odyssey predicted artificial intelligence and the use of AI. And another Jim Carrey movie in the 1990s called The Truman Show predicted the boom of reality TV. Arguably, no other film seemed so explicitly dramatic and far-fetched at the time than the 2011 film Contagion. But the movie got much of its predictions about a future pandemic world correct with some of the most dramatic elements that seemed most fantastic ending up being the most prophetic, with people falling for fake cures and propagating paranoia, which that and more came to pass in the recent COVID pandemic. But so many of these movies whose plots or forecasts accurately predicted the future their themes were the same as those in the prophecies of the Holy Bible, which foretold what would happen in the world in the last days. For example, the prophet Daniel in chapter 12 of his prophetic book foretold that travel and knowledge shall increase at the time of the end. And we have seen the explosion of the marvels of technology that fulfills this prophecy with the application of knowledge for the purposes of mankind's inventions from his imaginations. And the prophecy of the Apostle Paul in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says that in the end time there will be strong delusion in society where people will believe the lie and not believe the truth as they take pleasure in unrighteousness which is an apt description of the very environment of society today that has resulted from fake news and social media that's even fed 
by the AI of artificial intelligence and Lord Jesus Christ in his gospels and the revelation prophesied there would strong deceptions and pestilences that would spread like contagions. And now we have this new movie that's just come out called Civil War, where the film shows a modern day America that is a divided America which has become engulfed in a civil war with an authoritarian federal government led by a president who has taken a third term but is embattled by regional secessionist groups, where despite the president claiming that victory is imminent, it is widely expected that Washington, D.C. will be reached and breached by the Western forces led by Texas. The movie plot focuses on these journalists who are traveling across the U.S. from New York City to Washington, D.C., in order to try and interview the president before the rebel forces take the capital city. As the movie shows, the journalists recording the shocking situations they find themselves encountering and experiencing in their trip, like where they see vigilante justice that includes torture, or when they get caught in a sniper battle amid the remains of a Christmas fair. And they also come upon unknown uniformed militia who are burying civilians in a mass grave where they have to negotiate for their own lives by proving they are the right kind of American. And at night, they get the taste of what it's like to stay in refugee camps under armed guards. What's left of the journalists finally reach the capital city where they embed themselves with the Western forces led by Texas as they assault Washington, D.C. and go in with the WF as they breach the White House fortified perimeter or as they advance through the halls of the White House, which is now largely abandoned, they meet the remaining Secret Service side agents still guarding the president who try to negotiate the president's surrender and safe passage but it turns into a firefight where the journalists are in peril and even killed while the Secret Service is eliminated. Then afterwards, militia soldiers enter the Oval Office and drag the president from under the resolute desk. As the soldiers prepare to summarily execute the president, a remaining journalist delays the soldiers asking the president for a final quote. Then the president is executed and pictures are taken of the soldiers posing with the president's corpse. The movie is deeply shocking and unsettling, but has gotten a lot of buzz and traction at the box office and on live streaming as it has done well, with the reviews of people saying they see just how realistic some parts of this movie could become, to where people say it's possible another civil war could happen in America? Is this another movie that is making predictions about the future that will come to pass? Is the new movie Civil War showing America's future? The experts are sounding the alarm saying that the conditions now exist in America for another civil war to happen. The historians and political scientists are saying that the conditions like we have now with America. So fractured and divided with it, extremely polarized and becoming overtly hostile along the lines of division up to the point of violence has never happened before like this except at the time of the first civil war. This Signs of the Last Days ministry has been forewarning now for the last five years of conflict coming in America. In 2019, we did a live stream titled America in a Modern Civil War, where we forewarned of what's happening in America and its consequences if we don't repent. And now we have this movie depicting a modern civil war in America as if its title and plot is taken right from our title of forewarning five years ago. Four years ago in 2020, this Signs of the Last Days ministry forewarned that a storm of vengeance is coming, where we forewarned that the presidential election would become an election for vengeance, bringing a storm of vengeance to America. 
And then in 2023, former President Trump said himself right out of his own mouth that he is coming back with vengeance as the retribution. And then just said again now in 2024 that he is coming back for the revenge of vengeance with it happening just as we forewarned four years ago. Does Bible prophecy warn that division and conflict is coming for America? A year ago, this Signs of the Last Days Ministry taught a live stream titled The Prophecy of America's Desolation, where we forewarned of signs that we had seen pointing toward the coming desolation of America. As we described the prophecy of Lord Jesus Christ and the prophecy of Abraham Lincoln of what will happen to America unless we repent. And in March, this spring before this Civil War movie came out this summer and before we ever knew anything about its storyline plot, we warned back this spring of heavenly signs we saw over Texas that were pointing to the Texas rebellion that happened in Eagle Pass in January 2024. When Texas rebelled against the federal government, where the Texas National Guard military under orders of the governor of Texas faced off with and blocked U.S. federal officers with Texas taking control back of its own border at Eagle Pass in a rebellion that went to the Supreme Court, and it's not over. And here we have this Civil War movie coming out now this summer that has Texas leading a rebellion against the federal government, which in reality, the seed has already been planted. Way, way too many converging signs for it to all be happenstance. Just a couple of months ago in a live stream titled Prophetic Message to America Coded in Solar Eclipse, we also forewarned that there was a prophetic message coded to America in the heavenly sign of the solar eclipse, where we described how that the solar eclipse of 2017 and the solar eclipse of 2024 had specific signs coded into them that revealed ominous warnings for America. There is no coincidence or happenstance with the Lord God. Will the 2024 U.S. election for president become known as the beginning of another civil war for America unless she repents? The Lord is speaking to those who are seeking the Lord in all spirit and all truth of the Lord who have eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to understand his warnings in these last days of prophecy. And these events and conditions that are happening right now in the world are connecting directly to the end time as warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age. And it's revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church, so to be saved from the wrath of the vengeance that is prophesied to come. By obeying the commandment of the Lord Jesus Christ in John chapter 3 and verse 3, and John chapter 3 and verse 5, where Jesus Christ said, unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God, and that you must be born again of water and spirit, our one cannot enter the kingdom of God according to the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus chose and sanctioned only his chosen apostle in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 through 19, to tell us how to be born again, where he gave his apostle the keys to the kingdom of heaven, with the Lord Jesus saying there that what his chosen and sanctioned apostle preached was bound in heaven, recorded in heaven, which is eternal, for the church of Jesus and the acts of the apostles preaching. There the apostle in Acts chapter 2 in Jerusalem and the apostle in Acts chapter 10 among the Gentiles and even in Acts chapter 19 as the Lord Jesus spread his church among the Gentile nations, the chosen apostles of Jesus preached how to be born again of the water and the spirit through Jesus Christ, through his name, and through his spirit. 
the prophetic signs of the last day's prophecies that we're watching happening now, it is screaming at us, telling everyone they must prepare now for the appearance of the Lord Jesus according to what Lord Jesus and his apostles actually preached in the Acts of the Apostles preaching in their Holy Bible Scriptures. And if you need help finding someone to baptize you and pray with you biblically where you are, according to the preaching of Jesus and his apostles actually in the Bible, you can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website, signsofthelastdays.org, there in the footer where you'll find our email address. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream as our Watch and Pray live stream this Sunday evening where we plan then to share more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening. And we'll also testify and pray together live over you and your prayer requests. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and that you click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. We are sharing significant, amazing prophetic signs happening now in world events and conditions that are telling the biblical believers of Lord Jesus to keep looking up as the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Signs of the times are everywhere. There's a brand new feeling in the Stand strong.